All right, take a look at this. It appears to show a UFO hovering above the water before splashing down there. This leaked video was taken aboard a U.S. Navy ship. Well, tonight the Pentagon is confirming the images as well as some previously leaked videos from 2015. They're saying they are legit and part of an ongoing examination by a task force formed just last year. Now that brings us back mm -hmm. here to the tri-state and our role in understanding unexplained aerial phenomena. Yeah, it turns out we play a big part in this. In fact, the world headquarters of an operation that's looked into hundreds of thousands of reported sightings all over the years, they've just moved here from California. This is here, cool. This here. is cool. This is so cool. Cassie Arsenal is on the close encounters of the first kind beat tonight. Cassie. Believe it or not, Ohio is an active state when it comes to UFO sightings. MUFON told me that they've had close to 200 reported sightings here in Ohio just this year alone. So it's a convenient advantage that their headquarters is coming back here to Cincinnati. It's a bird, it's a plane. Elon Musk satellites? It, it might be uh, a balloon that broke loose from a kid's party. It can be a drone. It can be any number of things. But once in a while, it just might be extraterrestrial. We do 8,000, 10,000 cases a year. Well, we can explain about 93% of those. But boy, oh boy, that leaves that extra 800 of unexplained that'll just make your eyes spin round and round. UFO sightings are up this year, especially in Ohio. Currently, there are 39 open investigations and 165 reports just this year alone. And now, the Mutual UFO Network, the largest and oldest civilian UFO investigating agency in the world, with 600 investigators all over, is moving its headquarters back to Cincinnati. Cincinnati is perfectly located. Eighty percent of the population is within a six-hour drive of Cincinnati. That's number one. And with a government-sanctioned report on the horizon of an unidentified aerial phenomena, UFOs are top of mind. We need somebody on the outside because with the stories coming out about the naval sightings, with, you know, it appears that they have maybe done their due diligence on investigating these things. Of course, MUFON has its fair share of pushback. We have our haters, too. Of course. You know, when, when you're the top gun, everybody wants a shot at you. But the commitment to try to explain the unexplainable never wavers. Now, you can be a part of MUFON, too. They are always looking for investigators, but it's not for the faint of heart. you got to get study materials, pass a test, then you have to shadow one of their more seasoned investigators before they let you go out on your own. Reporting live, I'm Cassie Arsenal, Local 12 News. All right. Thanks, Cassie. I keep telling we are not alone. I, I agree with you on that. I do agree with you on that. <laughs> All right.